us. So you've heard of the saying, practice makes perfect. When it comes to your martial arts training, that really, really is important. Masayama, who was the founder of our style of karate, said, martial arts is like scaling a cliff. It requires unfaltering devotion to the task at hand. Now, if we unpack that a little bit, just imagine you're scaling a cliff, you're off the ground by you know, several hundred feet, and all of a sudden you have a lapse in concentration. You decide to let go and look around to check out the scenery. Well, you pretty much know what the outcome of that's going to be. You're going to hit the ground and it's not going to be pretty. So when we apply that to martial arts, it's about if you want to achieve anything that's going to be significant and worthwhile, if you want the grade that you're working towards or the grade that you're currently in to actually mean something, you must apply yourself and it must require from you the absolute devotion to the task at hand. So whether it's learning a kata, whether it's applying yourself during your basics, whether it's following a comprehensive nutrition plan, whether it's about making sure that you get the right level of rest and recovery, it's really important to apply yourself to 100% of your abilities. One of the great things about being an instructor for coming up two and a half decades, I've had the opportunity to train with many, many students and produce numerous number of champions. And when I say champions, I'm not just talking about a club champion or a style champion. I'm talking about a champion that goes in and competes against multiple styles across open tournaments and wins. That's a champion. And what I can say is that champions can be made, but only if they approach their training with absolute unfaltering dedication to the task at hand. I often train students who want to be champions, but they can't attend. They, for, for some reason, they find a reason to be inconsistent in their training. They're there one week and then the next week they're gone. And then they come back the following week, they enter competitions. Now that's all right if you've fully prepared and what you've done is you've made yourself as competitive as possible and you go in with everything that you've got because you've given everything to your training and you come second or, or you don't place, that's fine because what you've done is you've worked hard, you've dedicated yourself to become the very best that you can be on the day. So if you really do want to be competitive, if you want to be the best that you can be, you really must absolutely 100% apply yourself and do the very best that you can. That means turning up for every training session that's available. That means when you're feeling tired, you still go to training. Maybe you had a really hard day at work or school or whatever, you still go to training. Maybe it's cold outside, which is always the big one when winter kicks around. You go to training. If you want to be the best, if you want to compete with the best, and more importantly, more important than, than winning or losing, if you want to be the best that you can be and be as competitive as you can be and give yourself every opportunity to be the best and to prove yourself on the day, you actually have to apply yourself to 100% of your ability. Now, in saying that, it's okay to have other activities or other interests, but if you want to be a champion, you need to decide what it is you're going to focus on. What is it that you're going to give 100% of your attention to? If you want to do a bit of this and do a bit of that and then have a bit of time off to do other things, that's fine. But don't expect to be a champion. If you want to be the best that you can be, you've got to apply yourself 100%. That's the only way to get there. It's got to be every part of your waking being. It's got to be every part of your focus when you're doing everything other than your training. That's what makes a champion, someone that has 100% dedication and devotion to the task at hand. Us.